sorry, man. We had an African soccer player who uh who it came out that his kids were were not his. Three of his kids was not his, and um, story making the rounds and how people saying DNA tests need to be mandatory now. Uh, this obviously uh this obviously you know um you know what people are finding out is that. Uh, with more visibility of the internet, um, what people are finding out that is that you know, uh, with a lot of um states, like after like six months to like two years, if you don't get the uh, if you don't get the uh. Uh, uh, if you don't get the uh, if you don't get the test within that two to six months or two year period, whatever it is, like Louisiana, is something like two years, it doesn't matter if you test pot if the kids are not yours, you're still legally responsible to take care of the kids. In a lot of states, if you live with a woman and her kids and they're not yours, but you living and you providing for them for like what or more than like from seven to ten years, five, ten years, depending on the state, she can put you on child support if y'all break up. You know, what you gotta understand in a lot of these cases, in a lot of these cases, the state just want money. And one thing I learned, it's a brother named uh man, I forget this dude's name, man. Uh Myron sent me his videos all the time. I think it's my oh man. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to find his brother's channel. A lot of these guys, uh, Mr. Palmer is his channel name. It's Mr. You know, the, the dot Palmer. And a lot of these brothers end up becoming, uh, and Coach Greg Adams too, they become child support experts because um, they go through the system. And one of the things he said, on he did a, a joint interview with Minister Jab some years ago, but I came across it and watched it again. One of the things this brother said was that um, he said that in Illinois, and maybe in a lot of other states too, is that the judges get a kickback in a percent in a in their pension from child support cases. So this is why they always heavily rule in the woman's favor. So they get a kickback in child support cases in a pension. So there you have it. There you have it. They get a kickback in a child support in these in these cases. They have it, so I don't. I don't think it's it's too. It should be too surprising to 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 people. I don't think it should be too surprising. You know, and it's all about the money. You know, most of these women don't have money. But now the woman is saying that she want to see the the child the the uh, the the DNA test. It said a marital battle between Nigeria striker Arlene Wajan Coyote. I'm sending around his wife, Eza Coyote, has taken an ugly turn with the latter instituting a legal action against her husband for allegedly claiming to be in possession of a negative DNA test for their three sons, Jason, Jade, and Jamin. Sunday Punch reports it's all allegedly. And enraged Dora, his uh, his wife, who was demanding media insurance of a disclaimer, said she uh, had to finally tow that path after how he claimed that about her children's paternity went viral on various social media platforms. She uh, but stressed her stance on the letter that her legal representative uh, uh, represent representatives dated May 24, 2024, discrimination of false allegations concerning uh, a purported. Uh, <laughs> DNA test resolved for three kids in marriage and addressed that coyote at 14. Tulip Road, I ain't gonna read this whole stuff, so whatever. They in Nigerian Lagos. 
The letter read, it comes to our client's attention that since May 24, 2024, various blogs and online platforms have been uh, decimating a salacious uh, stories alleging the results of DNA revealed in none of the three children born during your marriage of our client. This is scandalous and de defaming story and spread rapidly uh, causing severe embarrassment. Of our so basically they're saying he lied. So uh, she wrote, honestly, I'm so tired of this man's nonsense and this is the stop now. I know he was not mentally stable when he pulled out a knife. Well, here we go with the bull. So my thing is this. My thing is this. Why would he do this? I want to know. I want to know because you weren't talking nothing about. They always when they when they when they get their backs against the wall, then it, it goes to domestic violence. Come on, you know. Says the allegation simply tries to. So okay, at the end of the day, bro. Okay, let's see where this goes. He said he did a DNA test. He could be lying. She could be lying, or whatever about the situation. So he got the DNA test, then let's see it. Because I don't understand why he really put that story out there, you know, unless he was going to divorce. If you go to divorce, they're going to make you do another DNA test anyway. That's the wild shit about it. But let's just say it was true for the sake of being true. We've seen this stuff happen before. We've seen, you know, people, guys take out their whole family for this stuff happening. And it's unfortunate. But um, you know, you it, sh it should be legal. You should get a DNA test done. If she offended by it, she offended by it. But you got to protect yourself. And I will say, you know, a lot of them kids kind of look like him. Two look like her, for sure. But one thing we can find out, we know about women is they got a type. <laughs> they got a type. Come on, they got a type. They got a type. You know, they got a type. You know, they got a type. So, I mean, you just gotta you gotta protect yourself. Why y'all be scared of these women, man? You know, get the DNA test done with or without her consent. You know. Get it done. Y'all be scared of these women, bro. Y'all be scared of them. I, I mean, it is what it is. Hey, I mean, ain't nothing to be uh, scared about. And a lot of y'all just, it be all peaches and cream and shit. And y'all be scared to have uh, the tough conversations. You got to be comfortable having a tough conversation. And it's, and it's tough, especially if you just kicking it with somebody, you know, you just kicking it with somebody because you really don't have no skin in the game. Y'all just kicking it. Y'all just kicking it. Y'all just kicking it. That's all it is. Y'all just kicking it. But at the end of the day, you got it, man. These women be for everybody, man. Now, and I've always told y'all, man, come into this, come into the situation like she's sleeping with other guys. You're not the only guy. And it's, that's, I mean, it is what it is. Even if you strap up, mistakes can happen. But they're less likely to happen. Always, always keep that condom on you. Trust me, it's no point in going through the scares. You know, if you strapped up properly, bro, and she's talking about she's pregnant, you already know you protected yourself. So we, we don't even need to have that conversation, home slice. And you never take a condom for another woman. And when you're done with the condom, either you take it with you or you flush it. That's the rule of thumb for you young fellas who don't know it. You take it with you or you flush it. And most likely keep a bag with you, ask for a bag, whatever, and take it with you, bro. And then you dispose of it. That's how that's how greasy they get. That's how greasy it get. You 
That's how greasy it get. Real spill. So, you know, some crazy stories. A lot of the guys who got who got this same story. Uh, it's a bunch of guys who got the same story. It's a bunch of guys who got the same story. You know, you know, but it is what it is, man. You got to take the proper precautions to, uh, to protect yourself. So. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Uh, cash up dollar sign CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, follow me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, um, Amazon. Check out the Patreon. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.